talking to Katie Berries today in Cinema 4D as you can see here and I'm, I'm very excited for this let's jump in and get started already so first we need to set up our scene so create file new as usual we start a new project and then go to render setup render setting and then let's choose this to HDTV HDTV the one of this one HDTV 720p and then let's go ahead and create a new sphere well this this is our sphere and maybe le let's get a new platonic platonic yeah and then create a more graph create a corona drop a sphere into a corona and then let's make a corona crony around an object okay and then drop a platonic in the corona on on the object selection you can even just do this and put a platonic there so this this is the, this is our very first step to achieve our berry and let and then just increase segments for this one a little bit just that much even the much more let's even maybe change the type no no just leave it no let's take this one ecosa and then let's make platonic editable and then just scale it up a little bit this much to achieve that nice shape of our belly okay and then now let's set our scene create a new light zoom out and then let's pull the light up and start sideways that much and make this light to cast a shadow yeah a normal light omni light but soft shadow and then create a new flow maybe bring the flow bring the clone up okay bring the platonic up and then bring the light up in that case we, ha we are having light lighting the platonic from a certain side if you hit render you will be having this kind of lizards that's what we want to have okay even make it up a little bit move it away hit render okay this is kind of lizards we are hoping to have and then for the light just duplicate it by con holding con control down and then move it over for this light which, which we moved over just make it infinite light okay now let's get back to where we started creating our berry okay so in terms of shape the berry is ready is ready so you can just eat it now but without the color it doesn't give a flavor so we needed to give it a flavor right okay just zoom in a little bit that much and then zoom out so we need to give a flavor to our berry so that we can start eating it right now okay create a new material and apply this material to the sphere now let's start make the color to be ready okay dark shield like this one okay and then let's go to leave transparency give it some reflection maybe of four make it four okay and let's decrease the brightness maybe around that one we we'll come adjust this later on okay and let's change the texture to fresnel fresnel i and then we may even want to move it over a little bit and let's go down to reflection and only on reflection okay for now you can even take a preview it's like this it's not it's like a berry but it's not a 
that are sweet berry the one i showed you on my wallpaper so let's go to reflectance and then let's add a legacy reflectance and then on reflectance let's play with roughness a little bit make it to be around 30 yeah maybe that much and then let's de decrease the reflection strength a little bit to that much okay yeah that's one and then let's see which we can even decrease the strength of, of specular and then let's go down to the reflection itself and then let's say let's decrease the brightness even that much and let's change the texture to fresnel as usual let's take a look on this one first and the, le, then let's see if we have achieved our berry yeah our berry is right there we can even start eating it now okay so let's see w what other thing we, we can play with let's just play with this gradient a little bit yeah that one even hit render now we can see we have our berry okay so this is very simple and very quickly way of creating a berry in cinema 4d and maybe let's decrease the reflection reflection amount because it it have this not good things okay let's maybe decrease it okay now let's leave the reflection in that much and maybe let's decrease the specular strength a little bit okay and then let's see we are just trying to play with it, with it so that you can have this nice a bell liking berry like looking structure okay even let's move it over a little bit and then hit render yeah this is this 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 is like a berry even though it is not such a genuine berry maybe let's do this a little bit and then hit render and see so we're, j we're just playing with the settings so that you can have this very nice berry with, even without a specular this is very nice now let's go to the um, back to reflectance and then let's see on specular can you increase the specular a little bit and then hit render to see how does the specular of the bell looks like so guys this is a very now even much better than this one my on my desktop wow okay this is someone has been intruding on my on, on my computer so this is this is a bell you can even take a uh maybe increase the specular a little bit decrease the factors and then hit render to see okay i like this nice of this small nice specular so this is our berry, our berry guys let's finish by even giving color to the floor and let's see the floor how da does it look like so as we are adding more materials you can even consider on changing our reflectance reflection maybe minimizing it a little bit if, because if you can see now it's all over maybe let's minimize the reflection a little bit for our berry and starting eating our berry okay mm, brightness okay let's put it there and then hit render and see now ladies and gentlemen you can start eating your berry so you can you can now even include this mm, cool and render settings like ambient occlusion and global illumination gives a really nice shadows i'll pause it here and be back when we finish rendering okay
Well guys, our render is finished and we have this nice berry. And guys, I think we have finished and everything is over. So, thank you very much for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to like my videos and being comments there and comment any uh, anything you, you think I should improve or anything you, anything you, sh you think yeah, I should increase in my tutorials just comment it there okay thank you very much for watching and my name is Lulesu back again I'm calling you um wow I'm recording this video from dreamcarsstudios.com I will see you next time